Hey friends, I'm here with Anna today and we're going to do a quick tutorial um, of a landscape with sheep and I'll explain when I'm doing it why I picked it to you. So let's show them what we need to paint. Okay, so we have our paper set up. So we put watercolor paper on thicker cardboard and we use painter's tape around the edge. Uh, we do that. Do you remember why we do that? Um, so when the paint dries, it doesn't puff up. Yeah, and so it makes your paper dry flat. And it also gives you a nice crisp edge that's really fun when you, when you pull it off. Okay, so you don't have to do that if you don't have watercolor paper. We use printer paper. You could use thicker, any thicker paper, cardstock. Book, book paper, yes. So I have this old gardening book, gardening encyclopedia, and the pages are really thick. So I've been using that as like my little sketchbook. So that's another option. I mean, don't go ripping up books in your house, right? <laughs> Ask your parents first. Uh, but that's another option. Uh, so you could reuse old pages. Um, okay, what else do they need? Uh, pencil. Yes, you need a pencil. Uh, you need a brush. We're using, we like these pointy brushes. Okay, you need some water. And of course you need paint. We are using the trays. These are well-loved trays. <laughs> They're not fancy. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, mix our colors. You can see we've been doing that. We're going to mix them in the lid there. Okay. So you can pause the video and get all your supplies ready. Remember, you don't have to have exactly what we have. And then we'll meet you back here in a minute. We forgot an essential supply. Anna reminded me. You want a sound? Oil pastel. Yes, you need one white oil pastel. We like oil pastel because it's kind of sticky and it's got it's oily and it gives really good color. But if you don't have oil pastel, you can use a crayon and it'll do the same thing. So white crayon or a white oil pastel. Now you can go get your supplies and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have been thinking about sheep. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, because I saw this video the other day of um, this shepherd calling his sheep. And as soon as the sheep hear the shepherd's voice, they just, like, come running. And um, so we're going to draw this little field with sheep. And, well, I was thinking about it. Okay, well, first, let's let's draw the sheep, Okay. So what we're going to do, I drew out a little example of what, what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to draw the sheep in the field. Then we're going to put oil pastel over them to do their little bodies. And and then we're going to paint over. So this is a little mock-up of, of what we're going to do. Oh, so why, I didn't say while I was thinking <laughs> of sheep. Because I was thinking about God. And, you know, God tells us, like what he's like in the Bible. And one of the things he tells us is he's that like he's, he's like a shepherd. And it's a picture of like, the shepherd's out in the field all day with the sheep. That's all he does. Like, watches over them, takes That's care of them. That's what Connor does, but now he's not. He's off on an adventure. Oh, in your book that you're reading? Yeah. yeah. All right, you ready to make sheep? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to make their little black faces first. So you can fill your field however you want with sheep, you know, and you could do this. So I do. And you big eyes. You, you could. So I do a little shape like that, guys. Kind of like a triangle. Okay. And I'm going to fill that in a little bit with my pencil. Give him two little eyes. And then his ears come kind of like straight out like this. You see that? I didn't know that was the face. That's the face. Okay. So oh, yeah. I'll you draw. thought it was the nose. I'll draw the eyes first. Okay. Draw the, yeah, you want the eyes to be a little bit darker. And with the pencil, you can like, shade it. Okay. And then just draw his little feet in there. I need to draw. I draw a smaller face on it, too. Oh, you're going to go really big. 
that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show them what I'm gonna do. So I'm just doing li these little bitty sheep. Okay, so then I'm gonna surround him with this first. So I'm taking the oil pastel and I'm going over this guy. All right. So you can't, you're not gonna be able to really see it. And so I'm gonna kind of fill my field with these little sheep. Okay, so remember, kind of like a rounded triangle and two ears on the side. Do the little eyes. You don't really. Okay. Little legs. I'm going to just kind of randomly spread them out. And now you can do, if you want, you know how things get smaller in the background? Mm -hmm. So you could do it bigger in front and then like get, get smaller. Yeah. Or you can have them all be the same size. I think I'm going to do it smaller and like over here in the back. And remember you want his head like filled in, Anna. Oh, okay. You can do like a lighter pencil to fill in. Because we're going to be watercoloring over. Okay, so, so just remember. You take. So I'm taking the. Another big body. <laughs> okay, I'm taking the oil pastel and just. Making it fat. These are fat little sheep that are going to be that's shorn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cute. So you want to do a couple more of those or just one? Mine do. You guys can more. decide how many. I'm going to do. I'm going to do one facing this way now. I promise this is going to be so cute when you. Okay, I got a little guy. Doop. Now he's, this guy is going to look up at this guy, and then this guy is kind of looking over there. Oh, that's going to be so cute. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a close-up, close-up sheep. So sweet. So I was thinking, you know, that especially like times like right now where things are kind of crazy. Uh -huh. It's important that when we think about God, that we think about him in the way that he says to think about him, you know? And he describes himself. He calls himself like father. Do you remember anything else he calls himself? Oh, uh, the Lamb of God. Lamb of God, yeah. Um, he calls himself... Um, Bread of life, right? Messiah. Mm -hmm. And he calls himself... Um, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. And he calls himself our shepherd, which it, which I just love that... I love that image. And you know, the sheep really trust the shepherd because they know him really well. And they'll follow him, even if they have to follow him through, like, a scary place. Yeah, like with like if a wolf attacks. Yeah, they trust that the shepherd's gonna be with them. You know, and like do you remember Psalm twenty three? The Lord is my shepherd one? Yeah. And it talks about like even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil. Um so you know, like even if we it doesn't mean we don't have hard times, it just means that we know that God is walking with us. Oh my gosh, it's so I cute. Well, I can see it in the light. Okay. Are you ready to paint? Um, I have one more. There's one more? In the background. That's okay. Okay, so Anna is showing you what you could do with, like, big sheep, and I'm doing little tiny sheep. So I'm glad you're doing, I'm doing like, like a different little. Uh, I'm going to point this. <laughs> Anna, can I point this over here? Does it okay. So she's got really cute little sheep. Okay, so my field has got all these sheep. Um, you could do this sheep. This one has eyelashes. Oh my gosh. So cute. So you could do sheep lying down. I'm going to go over a little bit with my pencil. So I can. You could do sheep standing up. You could do um, sheep overlapping each other. I can see the white 
Yeah, if you kind of tilt your paper, you can. Now this sheep, this little sheep is going to be looking forward, so you're not going to see his, um, his behind. You know what I'm forgetting? What? I'm forgetting that the sheep have little tails. That's so why I put little pom-pom tails. Yeah, so you can add a little, little black tail to these. I put white tails, but... Did I have... Okay, now I don't know if they have white tails or black tails. Okay, we'll have to look tail. at it. Okay. Alright. Big tail. Okay, are we ready to do the field now? I mean, one more sheep. One more sheep. Alright, you go for it. Mm, maybe I'll do one more sheep too. This guy's going to be looking forward. I kind of like, mine are like in groups. They're talking. You know like in school how you have like groups of kids? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mine are Standing just scattered there. around. That's how like, normal sheep are. Yeah, just kind of scattered out. So we have um, so we live in a valley with lots of farms. So we we can see sheep sometimes if you drive by. Okay. I wonder what would happen if sheep could actually talk. They would be bad. What stories would they tell? Right. Of life on the farm. Yep. This one's going to be looking forward. No. So Ooh, you may be, bad. so the ones that are looking forward, I just did their front two feet. Uh-huh. Okay. Are we ready to paint? Yep. Oh, you're, you're doing it. you got to do the front two feet. Okay, get out. And you're going to do the... Blur. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put, I'm going to put on my, on this blog post the, um, the link to that, to the sheep and the shepherd. The shepherd calling the sheep because it's should, so cute. Should I do a shepherd in the, can um, I do a shepherd in the background? You want to do a shepherd in the background? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I am going to go, you're going to draw that. I'm going to go ahead and start and start this field. So, when you feel, think of a field, what colors do you think of here? Uh, green, yellow, blue, and uh, lots of flowers. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna start, start with the, my green here, and I'm gonna mix it a lot of yellow. Um, so a lot of times, like the green that you'll get in these trays, is really really green so you want to you see I'm just adding a lot of yellow to that I'm gonna add a lot of yellow until I get a green okay so we're gonna start and all you're gonna do is swipe the line over this okay now I'm gonna use that same green but I'm gonna keep adding more yellow Oh, he's cute. Are you ready? You want to start with, and I'm just going to keep adding lines to this. So, I'm going to start with the darker green. Okay, so with we're going to keep light. adding swipes green. Oh, it got in the guy's face. Yeah, so since you added a shepherd, since you decided to do something different, you're going to have to go around that shepherd since... Yeah, I'm going to go around that shepherd, and then once it dries, um, I'm going to color it in okay. with marker. So, then... Okay, I'm going to go real light yellow now. Okay, I'm going to even do a swipe of a different color, because fields can be different colors, so I'm going to do like a, uh, like a dark, dark yellowish. Maybe I'm going to do like a dark, dark green and then go light up until I'm at the lightest green and then I'm going to go to like oranges. Good. Make sure you keep lots of water on your, on your brush. Okay, I'm going to do like an outline of the hill up there. Okay. 
even more yellow. Did you know you can add purple to green? Purple? Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember that one. Remember what like, happens? Yeah, it like makes like um like a brownish purpley. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna add a little drop of that to the bottom here. This is a light one. It's funny because, like, um, the sheep are getting, like, overlapped with the green. Oh, yeah, here, let's, let's stretch her down here. And then should we add, like, blue? Yeah, I'll let mine dry a little bit because if I add blue right now. It'll pour into the green. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do, like, oh, I don't like that. Okay, so I'm going to go, like, with this color. A little bit and then go down here. Cute. I got a little bit. I'm just trying to mop that up since it's wet. I can kind of soak it up with a dry paint paintbrush on the faces there. Go ahead. Some green on the faces. Oh, I like that. <laughs> like half of it. <laughs> I'm gonna do like an orangey color. Mm, you're gonna do a line of orange. Yeah, that's like good. an orange, and then mix it with a bit mm -hmm. of green and yellow. I think that's good. I think that's it. I'm gonna show what you're mix mixing down there. Wait, this is really yellow. Mmm. I like that. So you added some green to some orange. I'm going to turn this around so you can see what you're doing here. Alright, we're going to pause for a moment and we're going to let our paintings dry. Anna's got some beautiful greens over here. They're so cute. Her shepherd is so cute. We discovered that if you do big sheep, you're going to get more watercolor in. Unless, maybe unless you do it really thick. So we learned something there. Uh, it's still super cute. So we're going to pause it and then we're going to come back and do some details and do some flowers. So you can pause the video. We'll be right back. All right, we got our paintings all dry. I'm going to add this layer of sky. Anna. It's a dark day here. <laughs> but I'm going to pretend like there's blue sky. And it's a happy day. And a happy day. Okay. Um, so, so I'm just... Adding a blue sky here with lots of water. Um, I'm gonna actually mix some blues. Sounds good. So I'm gonna use this dark blue. You're like the master mixer mixer today. You know what color flowers do you think our field has? Um, I think it should be some blue, pink, red, and purple. Ooh, that sounds great. You know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to add some, see under the sheep, I'm going to add some little shadows. Because they're standing there. And they're um, casting little shadows. So I'm taking a darker green and just putting a little shadow under their feet. I think, I think it'll look kind of cute. This is a dark day. Yeah. Oh, you, you went really dark. Now you can add a lot of water if you want to you go lighter there. Now this guy is in that orange field, so I'm going to just do some orange over here. Okay. Okay, my sheep are casting little shadows. And then I'm going to add some flowers. So I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a, a brush with a bit of a point, and I like to just kind of drop little dots. Now like I said earlier, if your paper's not, oh you got If your paper is um, not dry when you drop these little drops on there, it'll just like bleed. Um, so I would suggest we just like you let it dry. You might be able to get some of that color up if you get a dry brush. Dry brush will pick up color. So if you dry off your brush with. I can use this one. Yep. 
that's a good watercolor tip. If you want to take up color, take up dry brush across it. It should work. You know what the important thing is? Have fun. Have fun and don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. If you if you stress paint, then a lot of times you just make it worse. I've done that plenty of times. Yeah. I'm gonna add some little orange flowers. If you stress paint, you might um mess up. Yeah. Or do something bad. Um. Okay. So I got little. Maybe we think of like little orange poppies. Orange poppy across the field. Kind of look how cute. Just be careful when you swish the water. I'm gonna do a bit of this purple and then I'm gonna mix it again. I got a little bit of yellow. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Whoop. So the hard part when you're painting is just knowing when to stop. Because <laughs> you could go painting on forever and ever and not stop. Okay, I'm gonna add. And like it'd be dinner time. Mm. When you're done. Well, what I mean is like sometimes paint too much and then your painting gets too busy. You know? Yeah. And it's not simple anymore. And sometimes the simplest things are the most beautiful. Yeah. Like a dot can be beautiful. Mm hmm. So sometimes more detail is not always better. So that's kind of, I struggle to know when to stop. So I'm just adding little, little bushes there. And how's it going, Anna? Oh, yours looks like just a really happy, fun field. Even though the sheep don't have smiles, the shepherd has a smile. Yeah. Nice sky. I think, so my sheep are out in the field and they're waiting for the shepherd to call them in for, for dinner. Mm. Oh. What is for dinner tonight, Mama? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Spaghetti. Wait, we don't have that many over here. I'm hoping we will order something. Ooh, at Thai. We've been getting Thai food on Sunday nights. So the other night I ordered really spicy food, Ugh. but it was more for mommy and daddy. <laughs> Cause the kids don't like spicy food, especially me. You ate a little bit of it. Yeah, cause you told me to. It's a good experience. Okay, I think I better stop. Um, because. Okay. Uh, what else? I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm just gonna stop here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna um, stop then, there. Let's take wait, a look at yours. Oh, I think oh, I'm gonna. Cute. I think I'm gonna do clouds with the oil. Yeah, nice. stuff. Okay, she's gonna add clouds. I'm gonna stop here. I hope you had fun. If you did this and you tried it, I'd love to see what you did. And I know every oh, one of them is gonna look different because just the two of us here, they turned out really differently. So if you wanna tag me on Instagram or Facebook or send me an email. I'd love to see what you come up with. Bye. Bye.